Hey y'all, it's your girl Viva the K, and today I'll be showing you all how to make a bomber puffer crop coat. So right here I'm just showing you what you'll need. I had actually made this myself out of manila folders. I just taped them all up and traced over a coat that I have. I can also show a video on how I made them. So you'll need cotton and you'll need quilt batting for your lining of your coat and the cotton to stuff the coat. And don't forget your inside lining and also your fabric that you want for the outside of your coat. So right here, I'm just folding the fabric so that I can start cutting. So you wanna make sure you fold it inside out so that when it's time for you to cut your fabric, it'll be placed on the right side. So this fabric right here that I'm folding is the inside lining. So make sure you get a lining that you prefer. I chose this one because I felt like I never seen an army fatigue coat with this lining. So I just thought it would be cute and it'll pop more. So let's get into it. So right here, I'm just lining up both of the fabrics that I'll be using for my coat. And you wanna make sure they're lined up perfectly so that you will get the same exact size and shape for the inside and outside of your coat. And also, you wanna lay down your quilt batting so that it'll be the same shape and size as both of your other fabrics because this will be going in the inside of your coat. This will go underneath the lining. So I always decide to do the arms first because you wanna make sure you're cutting on the fold when it comes to the arms. And please make sure y'all giving yourselves enough seam allowance. So maybe about one and a half inch is perfect for your seam allowance because when it's time to sew, you don't want to make your coat too small because don't forget you have to stuff the coat. This is a puffer bomber coat. So whatever you do to one sleeve, you have to do to the other. Okay, so now I'm about to start on the torso of the coat. So you wanna make sure you just flip that fabric over so that it will come out exactly how you want it. I'm gonna start with the back part first. So don't forget your coat batting because you'll need that. So I'm just going ahead and fix it up straight so that everything looks right. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting it out. So on the cutout that I already have, which is the manila folder, I already put seam allowance on it. But if y'all don't have that, make sure you just do your seam allowance. Okay, so now I have to turn my cutout around and just start cutting exactly how I just did the last one. But this time, make sure I make a U for the neck. And it's much easier if you got pins, so you can go ahead and make sure your cutout is not moving while you're cutting. So make sure y'all grab y'all pins. Thank you. 
Okay, so now you want to just cut it in half because this will be the front where your zipper will be going. Okay, so now it's time to be working on your extended collar. So you will not need quilt batting or lining for this part. You will just need the fabric that you would like for your outside um, part of your coat, which is the army fatigue for me. So now you have to draw out your lines that you will be sewing down so that it will have that bubble puffer type of look. This is also where your cotton will be going into these slots right here that I'm drawing out. And I drew each line five inches apart for the torso and the arms. So I'm just pinning it down because when it's time to sew it on the sewing machine, it'll be much easier and all the fabrics will stay together. Just following the same exact steps that I did to the other cutouts, marking my lines so that when it's time to sew, I'll know exactly where to sew down at. So don't forget, five inches apart, ladies and gentlemen. Just pinning down the collar. But just make sure you leave enough space so your hand can fit through it to put the cotton inside of the collar. Okay, moving forward. So now it's time to go ahead and hem down my inside lining. I just cut it out the same exact way I did the outside lining. Okay, so now it's time to whip out the sewing machine. So whatever you do to one sleeve, you'll do to the other. I'm just sewing it down on one side. 
it and that's all it takes. Okay, so now it's time to work on the torso. I start by doing the shoulders first and then working my way down to the sides. Okay, so now that we have the inside line and looking like a vest, it's time to go ahead and move to the outside part of the coat. So you will have your quilt batting and your outside um, layer of your coat and just keep them together, pinned up and just sew down so that you'll be able to get the lines you need for where your cotton will be at, like so. So make sure you go ahead and sew down each line. Okay, so now that that's done, let's work on the sleeves. So you wanna go ahead and start sewing down each line again. And also the top, because you wanna make sure the cotton stays in place at the top of the sleeve. So sew down the top of the sleeve, but don't sew down the sides, only the top. Okay, so now that you're done with your last line, you wanna go ahead and just sew the bottom up too, but make sure it's a straight line going down because this will be shown on the outside of your coat. Okay, so now you want to go ahead and grab your cotton and just start filling in 
the slats that I was telling y'all to leave space for, like so. But don't overstuff y'all coats because you would definitely tell when it's time to put it on. It'll just be too bulky and you don't want to walk around looking like the Hulk. you do to one part of the garment you would do to the next pieces just stuff it but not too much so you'll do the same thing to the arms and to the front torso it should come out looking exactly like this not too much but just enough can't forget the extended collar so I went ahead and started sewing up the opening of the collar after I stuffed it. Okay so now I just started sewing up the sleeves so what you do to this sleeve you'll do to the other sleeve. Okay, so right here I'm working on the torso. So I started off doing the shoulders and then I just worked my way down to the sides. So I did both of the shoulders first and then just worked my way down to the sides. And that's what you are about to see right here.
Okay, so right here you want to pay really close attention. You want to make sure all of the lines meet up. So where it's pointy at, you want that to be at the top. And then the ending part of it, you want to make sure it ends up with the underarm part. You want both of them to meet up. But you'll see what I'm talking about on your fabric. It's time to go ahead and get back on the sewing machine wherever you got your pins at you want to go ahead and go over them or take them out and go over where you had them at and just take your time because you don't want to leave no holes or no gaps because it will show on the outside of your fabric So as you can see, I'm just taking the pins out as I go along and yeah, just make sure you don't leave any open spaces because it will show up as holes when you flip the coat inside out. And it should look something like this when you flip it out. No hoes. Now it's time to add your extended collar to your coat. So I'm just pinning down where I'm going to be sewing it. Okay, so now let's take it to the sewing machine. So right here, I'm just sewing down where I put the pins in it. Your machine may give you a hard time because the fabrics are so thick once they're combined but just take your time don't stress out don't rush it and just go with the flow it'll get there Okay, so we got that extended collar on there and it should look like this after you're finished. So we're pretty much done. All we gotta do now is just add the inside lining and the zippers. Yeah, this coat is definitely giving that girl. I love it. This is a cute unisex coat. Like if I make it regular instead of crop, it'll just be super cute and fly for guys. So when it's 
it's time for you to start adding in the inside line and make sure you fold it when you're adding it into the coat always fold it so that it could give off that authentic coat that was made inside of a factory so yeah just add it in exactly how you see how i'm doing it right here i'm folding it into the coat and just pinning it look exactly like this now y'all see where we going with it right yeah so all right let's get into it now it's time to add the zipper we ain't start sewing nothing yet we just pinning right now so we just folding the inside lining and adding the zipper in so you want to add the zipper in between both of the fabrics the camouflage fabric and also the green fabric you're just gonna put it right in between both so that it could look like it's been made in a factory and it should look something like this Went ahead and pinned it all the way around. We ain't get to the sewing machine yet. I'm just showing y'all how I just went all the way around. And it should look like that. And I went ahead and pinned the inside where the sleeves are. And it should be like that. All right. Now let's hop on this sewing machine and get the sewing. So I decided to start with sewing both sides of the zippers down first and then the bottom half so that everything can match up evenly and I didn't have to worry about no fabric overlapping each other.
atrocities.